Hi, I'm Risa, the flute instructor for Musicians Edition. As we become more of an intermediate flute player, it might be time to start asking, should I upgrade my student flute to my intermediate flute? Well, first, let's take a look at the difference between the two flutes. We'll talk about who usually upgrades, if it's really needed, and then what options you have if you are going to upgrade to an intermediate flute. All right, so this is my student flute that we've been playing with for all of our lessons so far. This is just a pretty much a standard student flute. The first thing is the foot joint. The student flutes have C foots. That means the lowest note we can play is C. Okay, and then we have a look at these two keys. I believe all of the student flutes have the offset G, which just means if you look down the keys, these two are in front a little bit more. And then all these keys here are closed hole. It means they're not open. Your fingers can just fit right over them. And then there's some differences in the head joint as well. So here you can always see where the line is because this is made of a little bit of a different material. Okay, so let's take a quick look at just an intermediate flute without getting into the nitty ditty details. All right, now this is my personal intermediate flute. Now all intermediate flutes now have a longer foot. They have the B foot, which means we can play B as our lowest note, one note lower than our student flute. We now also have open keys as well. And then some of the intermediate flutes, I believe most of them, but not all of them, are now an inline G. And our material has changed on our head joints. Uh, my head joint is a little dirty, but most of these are going to be silver, solid silver. This one is sterling silver. But anywho, the material's made a little bit better. And then the mechanisms on the intermediate flutes are a little bit faster and more responsive than the student flutes. Okay, so now, should you upgrade? Well, it depends on how far you wanna take your musical journey, to be honest, all right? So if you're just playing for fun and you happen to say, finish up the elementary Rubank book with me, but you're not looking to do this professionally and you're just enjoying playing at home, well, for the most part, you're gonna be okay with your student flute. But if you wanna do things even further, like go to college or join some professional bands or do things a little more professionally, then you're gonna wanna upgrade. So why don't we take a look at all the options we have with intermediate flutes because there's a lot more than you would think. So back in the day when it was time for me to upgrade to my student flute, my teacher basically handed me this, it was like a slip of paper and she was like, all right, you need to upgrade your flute. This is the flute you need. So what did I do? I basically bought the flute from the location she told me to and I bought the same flute she told me to. And you know what? I hate this flute. Yes, it's an intermediate flute, but it doesn't have the specs that I want and it doesn't fit my hands well and I honestly don't like the way it plays. So you know what I recommend? Please, 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 please try out some flutes before you buy your flute. Buying a flute is an investment and this is part of, it kind of becomes part of you and who you are and what you're doing. So you need to make sure you make the right choice. Now, I don't mean to put a lot of pressure on you. I just don't want you to do what I did and just buy the first flute you see. I don't want you to do that. Take time, try out the flutes, figure out what you like, and invest in something that you're gonna love for years on end. Your flute is your partner. Don't settle. <laughs> I partnered up with the Flute Center of New York to help show different flute options. And you know what? The Flute Center of New York is a great place to start trialing your flutes because you can tell them what you're interested in. Even if 
you're not sure of which mechanisms and stuff you want, you can just say, hey, I've never played an intermediate flute, I would like to try these things, blah, 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 and they will send them to you and you can try them out. All right, so if you decide to trial the flute, which once again, I highly, highly recommend, use the code RESA, R-E-E-S-A, to get free shipping. You don't have to pay for the shipping on any of the flutes that come to you and you'll get an extended trial. So normally the trials are seven days, but using this code, you'll get 10. And if you decide to buy the flute and you use that code, you'll get 18 months of warranty versus 12. So you'll get a little bit more there too. Okay, moving on. Now let's take a look at the different options you have with the intermediate flutes and what they mean. Okay, so first let's take a look at this Di Zhao flute. This one is a little bit more of the budget friendly intermediate flute, okay? Always thinking of budget, but also thinking of what it entails. So this flute, just like my flute, has the B foot, okay? So we can play that lower note. This flute also has the open holes. And they do make plugs for these holes, so when you're first kind of transitioning, you can put the plugs in and get used to them, take them out, or you could even leave them in if you so wish. This one also has the offset G. I personally prefer the offset G because I have the I have smaller hands, so when I have the inline, I'm like I have a tendency to do weird things with my wrists to make it work. So on my flute, I have the plugs in here just because I hit the edges of them. Though I would prefer having all of them, all of the plugs removed and playing it the way that I want to, I guess. So this one has the offset G. Okay, and then another thing this flute has is the E mechanism. Now, what is the E mechanism? And do all of the intermediate flutes have it or just this one? So this is an option. So when you're searching for your flute or trialing them, make sure you ask for the split E mechanism, okay? So it's usually an option. So when you're trialing them, make sure you trial one with and without. Now what really makes the difference, what is it? So high E natural, for example, right? That's probably your hardest note too. It's a note that seems to take a little extra effort. Well, with the split E mechanism, it comes out a lot more naturally. I hit it every single time. Now why my fingers are exactly the same so, the split E mechanism, it allows the keys, these three keys particularly, to be a little more independent, okay? So, we'll take this flute here, which doesn't have the split E mechanism. So, look, when we play our E, we have, we have two keys open, right? These two keys remain open. So what does that mean? I have to work a little harder at that E because it's, there's that open key. Now with the split E mechanism, now look, how many keys are open? We only have one now. Only one key is now open versus the two. This one comes down with that E. So your high E is gonna come out so much easier. And that's all it is. It's just this little line here. Well, it's not a line. I guess it's part of the mechanism that helps these keys work a little better. And then the head joint on this one, it comes out so much freer and inner, like it feels more like it belongs with the flute than it does the student flute. And it's hard to explain without you feeling it. <laughs> so please, try out one of these intermediate flutes. 
okay? So I'm gonna just take some time to play this flute for you, just so you can hear it. There's that low B, beautiful, isn't it? Ah, hit that E so naturally. the Dezao intermediate flute. I think it's very comfortable. It plays well. It's beautiful. It's budget friendly. So if you're thinking about budget, you are thinking about still upgrading and you want the offset and split E mechanism, I think I have your flute right here in my hand. Though I am going to be sending it back to the Flute Center of New York. So when you're ready to trial it, it's ready for you. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next flute I have available for us. Okay, the next flute I'm gonna talk about is this Azumi Intermediate Flute. Now, just like the other ones, it has the B foot, it has the open holes, but this one is in line G, so the keys are straight, okay? This one does not have the split E mechanism, but it may have that option. So when you check out the Flute Center of New York, a lot of them have options for or not, okay? So this one is very similar to uh, my actual flute, but it is just a pretty flute. Wait, let me play it. With it not having the split E mechanism, I had to work a little bit at that E. I recommend getting it. Seriously, try the split E mechanism. All right, and then the last flute I have to show us is the pearl flute. So this one also has the B foot joint, but now we have a D sharp roller key. So on this key here, there's this little extra roller on the side. You see that right here? Now all the other intermediate flutes do not have that. They just have the regular D sharp key. It doesn't have that roller. So what's the purpose of the roller? The roller helps slide that pinky for all these low notes. So it makes the sliding a lot easy because there's that roller that kind of like bridges that gap. There's like a weird gap with the ones that don't have it. But the roller may or may not be best for you. So once again, try it. All right. Now this flute also has the open holes. This one is the offset G. I love it. Make sure you try both. See what fits you best. Now what's really cool about this flute and this option, because remember the flutes have different options. It's not just this model is this has the C sharp trill mechanism. So if you look on the back here, we have this extra key now. How exciting, but how do we use it? So 
When we look here, we have an extra key now, right? Even our beginner flute has this key here. But this one now has two. So when we play C sharp, it's usually on the sharp side. So I noticed a lot of us bring our heads down a little bit to help flatten it out. That's not good. And it's also messy when we're trilling our C sharps. Kind of ugly. But now we can just use this C sharp trill key. See how much cleaner that is? That's awesome. So if you're playing a lot of Beethoven and other classical pieces that have a lot of C sharp trilling, this might be the flute for you. Either way, I still recommend giving it a try. Okay, other things about this flute, this flute has head joint options. So this flute has 3K gold lip plate. But anywho, let me play this flute a little bit for you. just pulling pulling whatever I feel like I'm not playing any tunes in particular anywho so now that you know the options of the flutes and there's kind of a lot compared to the student flute once again I highly 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 recommend you try them there's really no downside in not trying them I remember if you use the code Risa you get free shipping the trial is free and if you don't like any of them you can either just state that hey none of these worked out I'm looking more for like this or that or whatever I mean you're free to do that once again your flute is an investment you want to make sure you get what you want so the Flute Center of New York has endless amount of options. There's a flute for you, I guarantee you that. Okay, so make sure you take the time, look at the different flute options, try some out, find what's gonna fit you best. I personally love the split E mechanism and the offset G. I really like the C trill keys too, the C sharp trill key. But to be honest, I don't play a lot of pieces with that in there. So I could do without on that one, but the split E mechanism is what has me sold and the offset G. So try some flutes out. Let me know which ones you like. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the flutes you're trying out. And don't forget to use the code RESA, R-E-E-S-A, to get those extra perks. All right, if you have any further questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments. And if you have none, I'll be seeing you soon for the Rubank Intermediate Flute Course. Thanks for joining and until next time.